What up y'all and welcome back to the Fitman Cook Kitchen. Today we are making a forever favorite of mine. I am remaking and remixing an old recipe that I made years ago when I first got onto YouTube. Today we are making a delicious chicken pho. I know that we're heading into soup season, but let me just add this disclaimer. I don't care if it's 110 degrees outside here in Texas, I will always enjoy my bowl of pho. <laughs> like pho is one of those things that you can have year round just because, not only because it tastes good, but for some reason it's got some like magical benefits or something. It just makes you feel good inside. It makes you feel warm. If you're not feeling well, have some pho. If you're having a great day and wanna celebrate, have some pho. Pho is always on your mind <laughs> and it's always the right time for some pho. So today I'm going to show you how to make pho in an instant. That's right, we're going to put it into a pressure cooker and cook it for no more than 10 minutes. Now, before the Vietnamese grandmamas come at me, just know this is not a traditional recipe I know. I'm going to slap my hand right now for you. but. For those of us who are in a hurry and just want the essence of it and we can't go out to go and get our beloved traditional pho or we are trying to watch the sodium in our diets, this is a great option for you. All right, y'all. If you are ready to roll up your sleeves for this delicious recipe, then let's get started. Okay, now the most important part of any pho recipe has got to be the broth. It's always going to be the star of the show. And for this instant pho, we are going to do this in rapid, rapid time. Usually it takes hours and hours. We're gonna take 10 minutes. Fire up your Instapot, put it onto the saute function or any multi-function cooker that you have. You can also do this part in a Dutch oven pot. Just fire up your pot, put it on high heat, let it get nice and hot. Then we're gonna prep the ingredients. So I've got some onion here, slice this up into some large chunks. And then I also have some fresh ginger and just peel the skin off. And then we're gonna take our ginger and just chop this into large chunks like this. So once your pot is hot, this is really important, no oil. We're gonna try to sear the ginger and the onion. Make the vegetable sweat and create its own moisture. Let these rest at least until they get a nice score on them and then we're going to stop it and take it off the heat and then bring the broth together. Okay, as this part is cooling down, let's move on to the spices. Now, pho has typically about five main ingredients but there are tons of variations out there and they are spices that you probably don't have in your cupboard. Here is my advice. Don't go and buy a full bottle of them. Just go and shop a la carte. You can go to your local grocery store and go to the bulk section. We have a little bit of coriander seed. Then we have some beautiful star anise cloves. Cardamom seeds, beautiful. I like to crack mine open so you could use a knife. Really crack it open just like that. Boom to release some more of that flavor. Then the last one is cinnamon. This is some lemongrass. And if you're not familiar with it, you can just cut off the ends, just in. you're gonna take off the hard part. And then just take something that's kind of heavy and when we smash it, oh. First off, some of that hole is coming off some more, so that's good. And all we want is this part that's left right here. And this just releases the natural oils. You're gonna add in some low sodium chicken broth. Hint of sweetness with a little bit of coconut sugar, a tablespoon or two of some fish sauce, and in go our spices. Now pho tends to be really salty. You know, I always recommend to use the low sodium or the no salt added chicken broth. And then we're just gonna add a few pinches of salt here. All right, pop the top. Boom. Set our pressure cooker to about 10 minutes. Put it on high and then begin. Okay, so while our pho broth is cooking, we're gonna work on the noodles. So if you've ever had pho before, you know that it comes with these delicious rice vermicelli noodles. But what if you're going low carb? Well, let's do something for the low carb lovers out there. So grab your julienne peeler or that spiralizer that somebody got you over the holidays that you haven't used yet. Now's a good time to go ahead and do it. It's almost a full year and you've got that gift. Damn! So take our julienne peeler and just do this. Boom, and it makes these beautiful cuts. Brilliantly gorgeous noodles, easy. All right, hurry up, hurry, hurry. I know, we just pray for it right now. I'm gonna light some candles. And 10 minutes later, our pho is ready. Woo, <laughs> it smells good. Heck yeah. 
Oh my god. It's, you guys smell this. Smell it, smell it, smell it. Put your face in it. We're not too close. I don't want you to get burned. That smells fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. It smells like fuck. Pop the top. Ah. Look at all that delicious flavor. Now, you can skip this step and just use the white meat from a rotisserie chicken and just pull that apart, but we're gonna cook these raw chicken breasts. We're gonna put this into the broth right now. Set your cooker onto warm, or you can put it onto cook. So we're gonna cook this for about 10, 15 more minutes until the chicken is cooked all the way through, and then we're gonna take the chicken out, chop it up, and then enjoy our delicious chicken pho. So let's add our noodles to a bowl. This one is gonna be for the carb lovers out there. And then for the low carb warriors, gonna add our beautiful zucchini noodles and some carrot noodles as well. The garnish on pho is really important. It's one of the things that I love about it because it comes with so many fresh ingredients and I've got them right here. So I've got some basil, got some bean sprouts, some, some jalapeno, some lime, some cilantro, and some green onion. And I add some green onion there on top. The chicken's cooled down quite a bit now, so I'm gonna add that. Truth be told, pho is one of those things that I eat year round. It could be 110 degrees outside here in Texas, I will still go and get a bowl of pho. All right, Jesse, follow the steam, follow the steam. You can actually strain your broth at this point, I'm not going to, and just add in this piping hot, delicious, savory broth. We're gonna add a little bit of heat, jalapenos. This is Texas, and we love the flavor. Some basil, and a little bit of fresh lime. All right, now it's time for the taste test. I am ready, my mouth is salivating. Oh wow, <clears throat> I think I got a pepper from the jalapeno in there. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the carton of pho stock that you can buy in the grocery stores that you can just start to boil and you add all your stuff to it. So getting the right flavor is super important and very hard to do. So I'm actually glad that I nailed it. How was it for you? Wow. It's, it's, got, it's got all those flavors, man. Boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Chicken pho, two thumbs up. Oh, wow. I hope that you all go and you run to make this recipe. It's a really fun one to do. All right, that's it for today's video. If you like stuff like this, I invite you to smash the like button below. Let us know you're watching. Let us know that you like the content. And also, if you're new to the channel, what up, how you doing? Don't forget to subscribe and remember to ring that bell, ding, 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 so that way you can be notified whenever we post hot new recipes. Ha, <laughs> hot, no pun intended, just like today. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, bye y'all.